So I got rid of two more mods that may have caused it. I don't even know at this point. If it happens again, I can keep playing. I can do an exit save. I just, if I do this, I can't die. If it tries to load while I'm in this, you need to. I can't save while in a, or you can't save because of zero K. If I die and it tries to load, it crashes. So, I guess we'll just see what happens. It's really the only thing I can say. I just hope it doesn't. I just did a quick save and it saved. The messages didn't show up. So. As I was saying, I got the explosive bobblehead, I got a pick of pens. I took one of the flamers, upgraded it, so got me a flamer. And Preston wanted to talk to me. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Is this a better time to talk? What is it, Preston? Look. I know I put you in an almost impossible position when I asked you to leave the minute. I didn't have any right to ask you to take that on. I guess I was kind of desperate at that point. I still don't know why you said yes. If it was for me, or for the Commonwealth, or for some other reason. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to know that I appreciate what you've done. If you look at where we were then, to where we are now, I can hardly believe it. Thanks, Preston. Thank you, General. I've taken up enough of your time. We'd better get back to it. You really are one of the good guys, you know? You told me that before. Why are you bringing it up again? Well, I'm not sure you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you. Both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient, or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people, just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters. That you're making a difference. Don't project your hero fantasies onto me, Preston. I'm not who you want me to be. Okay. Have it your way. I just wish you'd give yourself a little credit sometimes. All right. Enough chit-chat, huh? Wait. Is that it? Did I blow it? Did I blow it? Where's... I want... I think I fucked it up. One second. Let's try again. I fucked it up. Oh yeah. I'm tired. Alright. Hey, stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Oh, shut up, Mercy. Mary, bitch. What is it, Preston? Look. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any right. I still don't know. I don't. Uh -huh. If you look at where we were... Anything else you wanted to tell me? Nope, that's it. I've taken up enough of you. You really are one of the good guys, you know? I don't know how to break this to you, but... I'm not a guy. Yeah, obviously. I mean, not that I'm specifically paying attention or anything. Well, you know what I mean. But just... 
Hear me out for a second. Since we met, most people are just out, but you're different. I've seen you risk. I just wanted you to know that. Well, if any of that is true, it's... A lot of it's because of you, Preston. You've shown me how to be a better person. Oh, thanks. That means a lot coming from me. Really? All right. Enough chit chat, huh? Yeah. Now, guess I didn't fuck it up. Ah, uh, whatever. All right. Let's see what's on the to-do list. Looks like we're almost done, actually. I only got two more. Um, place to call home is simple, so we'll do that one. This one is a uh, creation place house player home the only reason I got it was because there's a mod that would have I thought I needed it so I could um have building points to my player home but obviously it didn't pan out Yeah, some kind of alarm's going off. Oh. Okay. Jim, Sally, Roger, welcome. I hope it wasn't too much trouble to find this note. <sighs> Did you make sure you weren't followed? One can never be too safe out here. This place I told you about, I spent a couple of weeks here, so I... I spent a couple of weeks here. So far, it's been nice and quiet. I really think we can call this place our home. How? This place is right... What's right next to the fucking ship? It was not quiet. It was the furthest thing from quiet. It could be hit by scavengers. Anyways. This is the place I told you about. Oh, yeah. Really quiet. I had to go. <sighs> Sorry. I had to go do some scavenging for supplies. But I've outlined an area where I'll be. Either either stay here and wait for me to return or come find me. There's only one key, so I kept it I keep it with me at all times. I hope you understand. Stay safe, Charlie. And where's this Charlie? Bunch of dead people.
I've never actually used a flamer, so this will be interesting. Or a flamethrower. But as a big, strong, independent... talking about that really distracted me that's ramen milk see if we can find this guy private parts no trespassing I think I was saying how I never used to fight for our cheap heavy weapons. Everyone. Oh, got a dead guy. Harding's invitation. Ooh. I know what this is. And I'm actually excited now because I've been waiting for this random encounter. That'll be useful for Doggo. Oh, you're legendary. You were a legendary. Huh. I'm almost dead. Also, I gave Power Armor my ultimatum. Light dog armor. Ugh. Wow. I didn't think that was gonna make it up there. But I like the ultimatum too much for it not to be used, so I give it to my good old sentinel armor here. Right, um... Oh, oh, is this what I think it is? Part of the movement? That's right, friend. It's changed my life. And it can change yours. Brother Simon will be happy to explain what we're all about. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. 
We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm not looking for a sales pitch. A sales pitch is the last thing I would ever give you. I'm not selling anything, neighbor. I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. Giving them away. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. I have some questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything, except have a willing spirit and open your heart to the possibilities. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't I be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? What if I change my mind after I join? There's absolutely no obligation. But trust me, once you see how your life is transformed, you won't want to leave. Believe it or not, we have never had a single pillar leave after joining. There's not many groups like ours that could make that claim, are there? Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? I don't have any more questions. Good. You owe it to yourself. I hope you're ready to take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Hi, damn, what could go wrong? Yes, I am. All right then. Fantastic. You won't regret it. I promise you, we haven't had a single pillar leave the movement since we started. Don't worry, I don't fight. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Don't be shy. Just follow me. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to welcome new members into our group. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own. And I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. Okay, here it is. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? I thought, I thought you said, you said there, there was no obligation. obligation. It's possible I may have lied a little about that. This is the point where you hand over all your stuff so that we can stay friends. I'm walking out of here. Your choice, what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. Yep. I tried to be civil. Sort of. I mean, aside from that one time I threatened.
Well, on the plus side, we don't have to worry about this cult anymore. Everything's still owned. I bet you the moment I take something too, pressed and goody two shoes is gonna be mad at me. Oh well. Well, that was entertaining. Damn institute birds. Can we just walk by, guys? Let super mutant bygones be super bygone mutants. Just the one super mutant? Yeah. Weird. We found an enemy. Well, I'm sure you're gonna find plenty of those. This building right here apparently I have not I have not discovered. There we go. Hallucigen. Alright, um We're not gonna get sidetracked again. And that's how I feel about that. Fucking mannequin. Hmm. Don't think Charlie's gonna make it. I think I got something here. Oh shit. Wasn't anything upstairs? Nope. Alright. What'd that note say? Life's been a bit tough been tougher than usual in the Commonwealth lately. The Minutemen were keeping things in line there for a while, but they've begun to fade out just like everyone else. Diamond City is full of paranoid paranoia over synths to the point where where even simple scavengers like me have a hard time getting through the gates. I've been laying low during the day and digging around for goods at night to avoid all the super mutants and raiders. I really need to find somewhere I can set up a more permanent safe house. There must be something left out there. There are so many old apartment buildings boarded up. I feel like one of them has to have something good inside. I made a mistake poking around Lexington the other day and almost paid a price. That place was silver run with feral ghouls and raiders. It'd take a small army to clear it out. I'll make I'll be making my way back to up toward Bunker Hill to see what's going on around there. I, I did some trading around Bunker Hill and decided to scout the area. I had almost given up, but I found a condo near Charlestown. I par pried off all the boards. Pried off all the boards and made my way inside. And to my, fi and to my surprise, the place was, ne was nearly untouched. I can't believe how lucky I am. If anyone catches wind of this place, it'll be trashed by raiders and 
in no time flat. Time to clean up the dust and build some defenses. Sleeping in actually, sleeping in actually, sleeping in an actual bed is life changing, and a bed that's 200 years old. No, even if it's a bed that's 200 years old, it's amazing to get a sense of what life was like before the war. This place is really big, and now that I've settled in a bit, I've decided to open my doors to a few people I trust. They're making their way down here from the north. I'm running low on food and water, so I'm going to do some scavenging tonight. Now that I have something to lose and a place to call home, every every outing makes me more and uh, makes me more nervous than the last. Fingers crossed, I'll make it back in one piece. I'll leave a note hidden away somewhere to let my friends know where they'll find me. Yep, yeah. he didn't make it, but I guess thanks for the condo. Oh, there it is. Cannot save. Yes, I know. Look for some stairs. Oh, here's a door. Place to call home. Junk. There, nice clean room. Where's that radio? Make a better new cola machine, one that isn't broken. caps
Ups. Can't scrap the folder. That's interesting. Yeah, not a bad looking place. I mean, it's no, it's not my noir suite, but pretty good. Again, <sighs> I need to delete these auto saves because they're literally just taking up space because I can't do anything with them. You think with it saying it cannot save, it wouldn't make a save slot, but it does. And it's more or less just a junk file at that point. Because you can't do anything with it. Oh, not the button I want. So, give me one second. Delete. That's done. Let's go over the moon. It's gonna auto save. Fail. Get rid of it. It hasn't showed up yet. Oh well. Alright, um... Oh, Moon's quite a... Oh, yeah, leveled up. Which is gonna make... Which is gonna make the game yell at me again. There. And yell at me.
Oh, we got some raiders. Also, I seem to have lost my sound effects. We should get going. Hold up. Let's see, I think that's Bunker Hill nearby. Go discover that right quick and then I'll go to over the edge. Or over the moon. Bunker Hill. Yep. They've always been go it alone types. Alright, um map. Actually. There we go. Now I can delete this. Settings. Audio. It's still up. That explains why I've been going through this with general ease. Crank that shit up. West of Grey Garden. Maybe if I fast travel, I'll get my sound effects back. I know. Honestly, what I think it's causing it, which is aggravating, is one of the mods I put on was a uh, thing that allows me to upgrade my Brotherhood of Steel outfit with Ballistic Weave. I think that's what's causing it. Because it's the only new mod now that I have that I didn't have before. Oh, fuck. I really enjoyed that. You know what, I'm just going to call it here because there's no sound effects. You never know what might be hiding in a place like this. I can't save. So, before I do, um, something. Let's see what I can do with my new upgrade. Take Garvey, Preston's gun. <sighs> Was, um, I had it. Because I restarted, like I deleted everything, re-downloaded everything to try to fix this. Um, I booked back in the Minutemen paint scheme, so I'll give him a Minutemen minigun. Minutemen minigun. Hey, point it out. Sure. Garbage, Here's right? my supply. Um, you guys are the best. Keep fighting the good fight, okay? Oh, uh, thanks. thanks. Glad to hear hey. you. You're one of the good guys. Don't forget it. Here, take this. It's nothing much, but I hope it'll help the cause.
Hey. Oh. Did I pass it? Yep. There you go. Okay. What am I doing? Crops have been growing pretty good lately. Um, and then I want to see, can I upgrade my fishing hook? Here in Sanctuary, prepared for the future. Actually, what do I, oh, electrified, I can actually electrify this now. And then I need, oh, I need one more science to make this nuclear. But actually, nuclear wouldn't. Nah, actually, if I do that, it takes away some of the damage. Eh, keep it as it is. Can I upgrade the shish kebab? No, I need one more upgrade for the shish kebab. Um... Oh, sweet. Superior damage. Nice. Can I upgrade? No, I need gun nut. I did blacksmithing. Let's see how my thing looks. Nice. Oh, I should have done it while we were there. I realized I got... Uh, can I do it now? Well, actually, probably can do it over here. Oh, no. Did I repair this? Nope. Um, is that another? I think I make a raider cage. Yep. There. Then. Uh, I need some enemies. Delete those dead slots right quick. If I don't, I'm gonna forget. So tonight I'll get rid of the shit. It's gonna auto save. So tonight I'll get rid of the mod I have that allows me to upgrade my. Because I have Brotherhood, of, my Brotherhood of Steel outfit underneath the uniform. God forbid I just wanted to upgrade that, but no, no I can't have that. I, th I, I honestly think that's what's causing it, because it's the only other mod I have that would be causing this. Um, or it was the new mod I installed that was different from, not uh, from Tuesday. Because Tuesday, we didn't have an issue at all. Um, so that's the only thing. It is literally the only... Ada? What the hell? A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? Why the hell are you here? Time to hit the road. Wonderful. I look forward to traveling with you. Excuse me. Is there something you need? 
Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. Why was Ada here? Crap dog meat. Summon. Call active companions. I must apologize for the odd noises I'm currently emitting. A consequence of being mechanical in nature. Why the hell was Ada here? I thought that I hadn't started that mission because she wasn't at Sanctuary. That's weird. Yeah, that's actually throwing me off a little bit. Um, that's why you're the last mistake. Okay, here we go. We've got some people here. Let me show you. Apparently with one of my... I'm guessing it's the return of the Enclave. I have Enclave Relay. Apparently I can just summon Enclave. Let's get this over. Hunter? What the hell is this? You know, this game sounds kind of stupid without the sound effects. Hunter's Pelt. I've never seen Hunters before. Is there a body over here? Looking for a dead dude. Okay. I, I know I said I was looking for a dead dude. I'm looking for a freshly dead dude. Hate it when the game's a sarcastic asshole to me. Welcome, America. Final. T We're here to work to. Uh, we are here to work restoring America, starting with the Commonwealth. Report to any commanding officers here to get your orders and take take the hollow tape to remind you to do so by relooking at this directive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yell at me. Oh, so this is the Enclave. The return of the Enclave. I don't move. Did that enclave guy come down here? No one's here with me. What the? So, okay, don't want to be here. I 
fucking no. Oh, hey, you have the rusted arms and whatnot. Hey. I mean, you don't have a rusted helmet, but you have... Well, desperate times. Let's see, what would do the most damage? I love the fusion core. Would that destroy everything? Well, this is probably going to suck for me. Or not. That turned out actually quite well. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you is that I can, I could call, apparently I can call remnants with my grenades. Hellfire remnant, huh? Interesting. The flame refuel. I'm not going to keep grabbing that. Shh. Yes, I will. Hey, buddy. So I want your left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. Then oh, I must pass down. Here we go. I want. Yeah, you'd have a coil. 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 Oh, it's broken. I need to fix this. Shit. <laughs> Alright, let's go fix it. Fix it and call it because I actually need to go to work now instead of just giving up but yeah I'm pretty sure it's my I never noticed this cave before it's more at then never noticed that um upgrade that armor. Which sucks. Oh, there's my alarm saying that I need to get out for work. Catch someone already? Wait, are you even on? Yep. Yeah. All right, mom. Crack. 
craft. <sighs> I don't like the requirements. Give me a second. Arm, right arm, right leg. EMP. I like the requirements. Oh, because I can't make it. I can't fix it. Hmm. As much as that makes sense. Damn you. Alright, so I'll just... arm You know what I call a good day? One that ends without a minute. Shut up. All right, where's your left arm? Oh, did I already?
bracers, left arm. Oh, I'm Amelia as well. Look at the two of us here in sanctuary. Prepare. Very far. The future. All right, so you're almost a rust bucket. All right, well, that's going to do it. Delete the save. Looks like I got a few to delete here. So when I come back, I'll get rid of that, see if it works. Looks like we have a uh, Enclave Remnant Den to get rid of. So I'll talk to you all later. Let me save and quit. Alrighty. Goodbye, everybody.